What's up everybody? Welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and today we're going to put to the test Flex Seal. You know that super famous commercial with this guy. I'm sure everybody have seen it, especially in United States. There you go, Flex Seal. What he did is actually got one of these strainers and spray a whole bunch of stuff into there and it becomes sealed completely. Also what he did on one of the commercials got a bucket not to be used as a hard head that's so funny i love these buckets so what he did is grab a knife and stab it few times and then he used this flex seal and it sealed it up completely so does it actually work i'm sure it does but how many bottles did he actually go through i have here four bottles hopefully it actually doesn't take that much to seal up a knife hole into the bucket and also they use flex seal to fix ceramic pots one of my pot exploded during the winter so i'm going to use this flex seal to fix it all together i'll show it to you in a minute first of all let's do the bucket test by the way when you're using spray paint or in this case we're going to be spraying rubber we do not want to inhale it so get yourself a mask make sure it's tight so that way none of the rubber get into your lungs and of course i don't want that rubber on my hands either by the way he actually used exactly the same knife so that's cool i remember i did a video with this thousand degree knife now my knife is all ruined anyways we're gonna stop a couple of times but i gotta be very careful not to cut myself oh nice that's a good crack right here Look at that, it's even cracked to the side. And then we're gonna do one more right here. Oh yeah, that's a good one right here too. Now we're gonna flip it over, check this out. We got here, good cracks in here. I wanna pop an aim back in. There you go, two way crack right here. One and two, one and two. We gotta shake it up a little bit. All right, let's see how it works. Never used this before. Oh, wow, that's so crazy. That's so cool. It's sealing up so fast. I would put it vertically because all that rubber is actually leaking sideways. Okay, I'm put, okay, I put level one. I'm gonna let it dry out and then I'm gonna do second layer. I can't believe how thick it is. I didn't even have to spray much in there. Wow, very surprised. Okay, while bucket is drying out, I'm gonna spray this strainer. There you go. Looks like for sure you have to do one layer at a time. And right here I crack this pot, check this out. Let's see if it's going to work or not. I'm gonna put this piece back in and it should seal everything together. And that way it will seal it, so that way we can actually put water in there and it will not leak as much. Shake it up! Look at that. There's a crack on this side as well. Okay, we're going to let it dry out and apply another layer on it. One thing I did wrong, I put way too much in there so that way it's leaking too much. I thought it was going to be a lot thicker than it is. So what I would do, first layer, a lot less spray on. Just a little layer, let it dry out. Second layer, third layer. So don't spray too much like I just did. Or it will just drip like a paint. So we're going to let it dry out. Okay, it's been about five minutes. Let's see if it dried out. Nope, not yet. But it looks like it's already sealed. I don't even know if I need to add another layer. What will be a big test? You see there is a big hole. I want to see how many layers will it take to seal up this hole. Okay, let's see if it's thick enough to apply a second layer.
Okay, that bucket doesn't need any more layers for sure. Just I'm gonna let it dry out for like at least 30 minutes. And then we're going to do a water test, see if it's going to leak or not. Strainer looks like it's thick enough to put the second layer, but as you can see, it's still wet. I'm honestly surprised how much there is flex seals inside of each bottle. As you can see, I'm doing a really, really thick layer. Okay, let's put the second layer on the pot. As you can see, I wouldn't put too much on a pot. Just one spray on a crock, let it dry out, second spray. Don't put too much or it will just leak out. I could probably even seal this hole, but it's probably going to take a lot of layers. What I want to focus is on this hole, because I need this hole. Wow, look at that. Boom, sealed it up. Four layers. It might leak away, so I might have to do one more spray after it dries out. And maybe five or six sprays, it will make this hole disappear. Also, my boot has a hole over here. I stepped in the nail or something. Every time I go in the water, it leaks. And it's a rubber boot. The point of them, so I can walk in the water. So instead of buying new shoes, I have a little bit left over. You see, if you put too much, it's starting to leak. So I would put very little bit. And hold it upside down like that, so that way it dries out. So that way I do not have a hole there. Of course you can make it nicer, so that way you do not have these leaks, but I don't care, it's just a rubber boots. And I'm gonna do one more layer on this pot. And I think this is gonna be good. I can't believe how many jobs it can do. I sealed up this pot, there was lots of cracks. I have completely sealed up this strainer, way too much, look at that. And I fixed the bucket. And I can feel there is a little bit more left for sure. Honestly, this is good stuff. I'm not complaining at all. I'm actually going to seal up this whole thing like this, so that way it have a flat surface. Look how much it has left over. I can't believe it. I might paint it completely black. Just for fun. Because I have so much left over, I don't know what else to seal. Boom. Now this pot is weather resistant. I can't believe how much there is still in there. That's it. I'll let it dry out for an hour. Let's see. Maybe that's how it's supposed to stay, just a little mushy. Yeah, you know what? It is kind of dry. Yeah, it is dry. You know what? I'm going to try to put water in there. Same thing, this part is actually all done. Oh, all that stuff stuck to it. Check this out. Look at that crack over here and it's fully sealed up. Yeah, you know what? You might want to let it dry for a little bit longer, but how cool is that? You have all these cracks over here and they got all sealed up. Look at these holes. I should have sprayed inside as well, but that's a cool comparison. Now this pot is for sure all fixed up and ready to be used again. And it looks good, I like it. My boots right here look like they dried out. Boot in the water, see if I'm gonna feel any water going through. Okay, moment of truth. Uh, you know what? It's leaking. Maybe there is an, another hole beside there. Oh, uh, you know what? There is a lot bigger hole right here. I missed it. Oh man, I didn't see this hole. But at least now I know these shoes are done. I really don't think this flex glue is going to fix this part because it's on the flex side here. It's just gonna come off just as easy. Okay, let's see how well this bucket does. Boom. There is right here a hole, and there is right here a hole, another one. And all that water is sitting in there, 
and it's not leaking so you know what it does work I love it so once again it's passed the bucket is not leaking I love it boom completely sealed up shut last test the strainer test Do I see any water coming out under it? Nope. How cool is that? Awesome. I don't see any leakage at all. Do you guys? That's so cool. It's a really, really thick layer on this one. One thing for sure, we definitely wasted the strainer. But now we know, Flex Seal actually works pretty good. Well guys, it looks like it does what they advertise. And if it's a big, big hole, you just keep doing layers. One thing I did not expect, how long this hole can last it. I thought it would be only one bucket have to be fixed and I would have to use up the whole can. Okay guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know in comments below what do you think. Don't forget to thumbs up and I'll see you next time.